Hi, how are you doing? If your blood type is O, how you respond to beans and legumes and how you can maximize the benefits by consuming the highly beneficial food and avoiding the ones that has an adverse effect on you. Many have benefited after hitting the roadblock, so will you. Empower yourself with the knowledge and be an architect for your own good health and well-being. In the description below, there are links to other food groups for your blood type. For now, let's get on with beans and legumes. As blood type O, you don't utilize beans particularly well. It inhibits the metabolism of other more important nutrients, such as those found in meat and a number of them contain lectins that are harmful to your type. There are a couple of highly beneficial beans that are exceptions and actually they strengthen the digestive tract and balance your microbiome diversity. However, you should eat beans in moderation as an occasional side dish. The highly beneficial foods do good to you. You need to be eating them. Highly beneficial beans and legumes are adzuki beans and black eyed pea. The neutral list of food neither do good nor bad. As the name goes neutral, you can eat them in moderation. The neutral list of beans and legumes are black bean, broad bean fava, butter bean, butternut, cannellini bean, garbanzo beans, chickpea, great northern bean, green bean, haricot wort, jicama, lima beans, mung bean, sprouts, natto, peas, green, yellow and snow, snap bean, soya bean, soya bean cheese, soya bean granules, lecithin, soya bean meal, soya bean sprouted, soya bean tempeh, soya bean tofu, soy flakes, soy milk, soy miso, string bean, white bean, and yellow bean. The ones with key upward arrows are black bean, butter bean, butternut, great northern bean, jicama, natto, soya bean, tempeh. They increase microbiome diversity and discourage microbial imbalance, which is good for your gut as well. So you need to be eating these. The avoid list of foods don't really do any good to you. They interfere with your normal functions, disrupting weight loss goals, your metabolism and microbiome diversity, creating imbalance, which is not good for your gut. It's best for you to avoid these foods. The avoid list of foods are copper beans, kidney beans, lentil all types, lentil sprouted, navy bean, pinto bean, pinto bean sprouted, soya bean pasta, and tamarind bean. Out of these, the ones with key downward arrow are copper bean, kidney bean, lentil all types, navy bean, pinto bean, and soya bean pasta. They decrease microbiome diversity and encourage microbial imbalance. They don't even do good to your gut health. You need to be strictly avoiding these. The weekly portion size of beans and legumes for your ancestry is all recommended beans and legumes portion one cup dry if you're african one to two times caucasian one to two times asian two to six times try this diet out and in the comments below write your experience the next video is going to be on grains and cereals i publish my videos on fridays 8 a.m pacific standard time don't forget to share this video stay healthy be fabulous and see you in my next video if you are new to my channel subscribe Hit the notification bell for new videos. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and write comments below.